Hello and welcome back to Around the Block. Hope you're all doing well today and you're looking forward to another episode where we've changed the schedule just a little bit. We're playing against Liptovsky today and then Popra, but we're playing against Liptovsky because it's a showdown. It's a first v second showdown. And as you can see from a little table preview here, it's very close. A win against Liptovsky today will put us top of the table. So this is is a massive game. Before we get into how we've got into this sort of situation, a little bit of housekeeping to go through first. Uh, first of all, tonight we are streaming. This is why this video has come out a little bit early because tonight is a Tuesday, which means we are streaming at seven o'clock over on twitch.tv slash TomFM. Link down in the description. So get yourself over there. We're streaming for a good few hours. So if you're watching this at some point in the evening, chances are I'm probably still streaming. So get over there, come say hello and uh, enjoy yourself for an evening. Second thing, I want to say a big, massive thank you to the brand new patrons. Patreons to the channel. Dan Booth, Lee Clegg and Doula, thank you ever so much for your donations. It's massively appreciated. Of course, if you want to get involved in the Patreon yourself, again, links down in the description as per usual. And finally, this is this is big actually. This is probably the biggest thing that's happened to me, I would say, on as, as doing YouTube. I sort of alluded to it yesterday on uh, yesterday's video saying there's a bit of news coming out uh, with me and Lincoln City. And essentially, I'm the Lincoln City manager now like genuinely. Okay, maybe not quite in like a real life manager, but uh, at the moment, the EFL in England, so the English Football League, they're putting on a tournament, a football manager tournament. And uh, each club has been tasked to find themselves a virtual manager. And uh, I was lucky enough to be chosen by Lincoln City to be the actual manager, which is meant it's mind blowing. I'm absolutely amazed by it because it's, it's the team that I support. It's a team I've always supported my entire life. And uh, I actually get a chance to represent them. Although not actually on a football pitch or in, in in real life capacity, but in the virtual capacity, I get to represent Lincoln City. And that is, that's like a dream come true. So I'm over the moon with that. I think that is absolutely fantastic. So, um, and thanks to everyone who basically tweeted Lincoln City and told them to make me their manager. There was quite a few of you that seemed to get on that and just tweet them saying, choose Tom FM. So thank you ever so much to you guys. I'm sure that helped out massively. So I really, really appreciate it. I'm not sure if this is bigger than Crouchfest. I know if you, because some of you guys might not know, but uh, you know the, the Peter Crouch podcast, it's a very popular podcast in the UK. Uh, I got to go on that. It wasn't strictly because of YouTube. It's because I just sent them a funny tweet, essentially. I got to go to Crouchfest and go on stage with uh, Peter Crouch and Chris Stark and Tom Fordyce. And yeah, that was insanely cool and I got to go on and meet like Liam Gallagher and Catherine Jenkins and uh, some really cool bands and stuff like that but this is Lincoln City and for me <laughs> for me it feels a little bit bigger in, in that sort of respect so I'm, I'm so lucky to get to do some really cool things but this is this is really up there for me. Anyway, enough of that, let's get into today's episode properly and how we've gotten to this situation where we're now pretty much fighting with Liptovsky for the title that stands right now. So we had the winter break and we lost on penalties in the Slovak quarterfinals to Banksa. Wasn't great. We then, though, had three league wins on the bounce. Rosenbrock, we beat them 2-1. Uh, Milhike and Peter Cena scoring the goals in that one, which was great. We scored an own goal at the end, but luckily for us, it didn't matter at that point. We win it 2-1, which was great. We then got a very lucky victory against Kossi. Kossi, Actually, we're the slightly better team in this game. We didn't play massively well. We got our goals. We took our chances. And then Armagh Garley came on and scored a goal right at the end of that game. Luckily for us, in the 94th minute to take all three points home. And then we had a huge 3-0 victory over Duslo Sala. Shitty Gel and Andre Garley, or Ame Garley, sorry, scoring uh, two goals there in two minutes to make sure we won that game 3-0. So nine points from nine points available, which is absolutely fantastic. We were quite lucky that other teams have slipped up around us a little bit as well. So we're actually five points clear of Presov in third place now. They've had a little bit of a bad spell of form since the turn of the winter break, uh, not winning a game actually, which is good for us, obviously. That's helped us out massively. Uh, Liptovsky must have dropped a couple of points. So yeah, they dropped some points against Inter Bratislava. So it's now down to a two-point gap between us and Liptovsky with eight or nine games to go, eight after we play them. And we've already beaten them this season. We beat them earlier on in the season here. 3-0, actually. A Lucas Toff hat-trick secured that win there. So I am quietly confident going into this game. But, of course, things have changed since then. Fingers crossed we can get the business done 
and actually move top of the table. The team for the game is actually pretty familiar. I don't think we've made too many changes at all. So we've got Huzerik in goal with a back line of Ferenc, Filipak, Sefik, which is he's come into the side and played really well, actually, Sefik. Like, I'm surprised at how well he's come in, considering we got him on loan on like, deadline day, just thinking we need an extra player. We need someone to just be a little bit of cover for us. And he's come in and played quite well in the five appearances he's had so far. So I'm very pleased with how he's played. Uh, Gunnarsson starts alongside him in the right back position. Of course, Cena and Shitty Jelk combining in the middle there. They've got a great partnership. We've got Toth and Brigand on the wings. Bry in that attacking midfield position and Barbosa up front. But he's not scored for a little while form-wise. He's not scored since before the winter break. So he's not played brilliantly the past few games. And that's why garley has been coming on a substitute and scoring goals. And I'm very tempted to actually start playing Garley. But... Oh, there's just something stopping me. I don't quite know what it is. We've got a few players on trial at the moment, uh, youngsters who are being let go. He's currently injured right now, Garley, actually. So that's why that, that's why I've chose Barbosa over him, because obviously I set this up last night, so I couldn't quite remember why Barbosa was starting after Garley scored goals. But Garley's out for two to five weeks, so actually isn't going to feature today. So we do need Barbosa to start scoring some goals today. Right then, kickoff is upon us here today. I am very excited for this one. We just need to make sure we can win. Oh, and I say that, though. I say that. We can afford to draw. We're st there's still long enough left in the season for them to slip up and us to capitalise on that. So there's still enough time. But as long as we... If we lose, then that is detrimental. But a draw or a win, I'd say, is absolutely OK. Obviously, a win is preferable right now. As uh, Brigant's corner didn't really amount to much, but he's back on the ball in the air. He's been pulled down and is going to take a penalty. Now, apparently, Peter Cena is... I need to... I always forget to change my penalty take because I need to sort this one out. Cena does have best penalty taking, but his finishing is terrible. Barbosa's not scored for a while. I'm hoping that this is going to reignite Barbosa and get him scoring some more goals. If he scores this, it'll be his 10th of the season, I believe. Come on, Barbosa. I'm putting my faith in you. Finish this. And he does. Straight into the back of the net. Really powerful. His 10th of the season and his first league goal for quite some time there. So hopefully that sorts him out a little bit. Hopefully that's going to give him some confidence and he'll score a hat-trick now today. This, this, game, it really, this game really could be a title decider, I'll have you know. It really could be. Like, honestly, because if we beat Liptovsky today, I'm backing us to go for the rest of the season winning most of our games. Because we've been phenomenal all season, really. I think we've lost four, drawn two. So that's only six games we haven't won. We have been fantastic. And I'd, I'd back us to do it. I really do. We've got a chance right at the start of the second half. Barai on the ball into Frank, into the middle. Brigant can't quite get on the end of it, but does collect the loose ball from the clearance. Shitty gel on the edge of the area. Barbosa with the shot, and it's a great save in the end by the keeper. That was a great little move from us. Very pleased with that. We've got a corner coming from it with Brigant into the middle, cleared by the first man, though, which isn't great. Filipak can not get it back to Brigant and gets it in the middle, but it is cleared instead. I think that's going to be the end of the highlights. Uh, we do a few tired faces on the pitch Gunnarsson and Cena both started the game pretty tired so I think it's only sensible we take both of these guys off the pitch right now Gombi Hartmanov who has been injured actually for the past couple of weeks is about to make his debut which actually is terrible it's probably a terrible idea bringing Gombi Hartmanov right now he's only two star current ability he's just come back from an injury it's his debut but he's very good in that box to box uh, ball winning midfielder position maybe so let's stick with it and we'll bring Ondrek on for Gunnarsson at right back. It's a little risky with 30 minutes to go in the game and only winning 1-0. But we've controlled the game so far. They've nearly scored a goal then, which is uh, quite nervy actually. But that's only the fourth shot of the game. All right, we've controlled it. Let's just say out there. Do we say anything? Um, let's say get creative because oh now I've pressured players. Luckily, Liptovsky, their manager, is... Now, they're now inspired. They were uninspired. Now, they're inspired. That's not good to see. But I think it's okay still as uh, Toth on the ball wins it from the throw-in. Toth cutting inside, is tackled in the end, and it looks like Liptovsky can try and get a ball out from the back. Although, they're not doing a great job of it right now as uh, they finally do get it forward, although Filipak collects it and Barai collects the ball. Gompi, a great ball into Toth, who doesn't quite win it in the end, but I oh, can't win it back. I feel like this highlight is going to result in a goal for someone, and I've not decided who it's going to be for yet. Although we have just won the ball back. Sefik up towards Barbosa, who can't win it, and it's still coming back at us. We've not been able to regain possession and properly do something with it as they come forward, shoot from distance, and luckily it hasn't resulted in a goal. Five minutes to go. Come on, lads. Hold on, and we'll reclaim top of the table. 
In fact, have we actually been top of the table this season? I'm not entirely sure, but we are top of the table now. A 1-0 win over Liptovsky. You love to see it. We've done the double over them as well. So if we finish on level points with them, we'll finish ahead of them in the table because we've got better head-to-head -head records. So this... This is a moment, lads. This is a fantastic moment. And there we go. We are finally top of the table. No, I don't, that is the first time we've been top all season. We've been second uh, a fair few times, as you can see, but never top. But now we are finally top of the table, which you love to see. A point clear of Liptovsky. Who have they got coming up next in the next few games for them? They've got 11th, 4th. Uh, 13th and 3rd. Okay, they've got they've got a pretty tricky April. The rest of our April, Pop Pride 10th, 14th, 9th, 5th, 60th. Okay, right. We should we should win every single game for the rest of this month. I mean, Sarad that could be a little tricky because their fifth in the table is obviously quite good. We did draw to into Bratislava earlier on in the season and Pizzarolka in the league as well, but I think that was in a bit of Bad form for us. I mean, I say bad form. We draw four games in a row. That was a bit of bad form for us. I'd like to think we can do it. I think we can. First of all, though, we do need to test ourselves against Poprad. That's the other game coming up in today's episode. Win that and... I'm quietly confident for the rest of April. Well, I'll tell you what. We've just had 11 minutes from hell. Right? 1349 player injured 1351 player injured 1354 player injured and then 14 o'clock two o'clock player injured Oh, four players in 11 minutes luckily it's only for rank who's actually a first team regular and he's out for three to four weeks the other ones are under 19 players and are backup backup goalkeeper now he's third choice goalkeeper now lakesi so actually only for rank is the the worrying one there actually that is mental though four players four four players in 11 minutes that is ridiculous it is actually a bit mental that we're in this situation with martin i mean we we just about saved ourselves from relegation last season and yet we're now in 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 promotion content and i suppose i did change a lot of a squad i feel like you know a lot of new players came in and we've you know built that squad up to have a lot more depth and, and quality in it but I didn't expect this to happen so quickly. And, well, neither this, the preseason preview had us in ninth, didn't it? But again, I always think back to that. The, the odds on it were all very short. So, actually, there's not much between all these sides. We just seem to have had the, the rub of the green a bit this season, perhaps. And we're in a, in a great position right now. But I do worry because, you know, because of those short odds, anyone can be anyone, essentially. That is what this division is about, I think, really. Anyone can be anyone. Are we ready for promotion? I don't know. I'm not sure if we are or not. That's the thing. Ferenc's got to come off for Lacko, and then we'll take him off the bench for someone else instead. Other than Ferenc coming off for Lacko, I don't think I want to change the lineup at all, actually. So I'll submit that team again. That all seems to be working well for us. But as kickoff is upon us, all we can do is just keep winning games. That's all we have to do. Just keep winning games. And Brigant puts the ball into the middle, and it's headed just over in a really long pitch for some reason. Uh, not entirely sure why it's so long. Liptovsky have gone one up very early on in their game, so we temporarily dropped down to second. Let's just get these out of the way so we can actually see the whole pitch instead. Uh, and we can sort of look back at other things when we, as and when we need to. Right. Pop Radig looking to come forward, although Barbosa makes a very good interception there. Come on, lad. Add to your goal tally. Putting it just wide of the post. Great start from us, though, today's game. Seven shots to one shot. Great start from us. Let's just build on this. Let's score some goals, all right? Barbosa's got great finishing. He should be bagging some goals. He should be really good. Shitty Jell on the ball for us right now into Barai. Barai on the edge of the area. Gunnarsson into Barbosa, who puts it in the back of the net right on cue as I was talking about his goal scoring ability. Luckily for us, that penalty that I put him on and he scored in the previous game seems to have reignited something because we haven't really seen many chances at all from him in recent games that I've been playing off camera. But today, he has been having quite a few shots, quite a few chances, and it shows because he scored the opening goal here today as we temporarily move back on top of the table, which you love to see. Um, where are they? Liptovsky is still only winning 1-0, so hopefully um, Petzolka can come back and, and, and score another goal there to help us out a little bit. But as I say, all we can do is just keep winning our games as Poprad come forward. Is that a player called Horney? I genuinely think the number three is called Horney. That is a... What a name that is. What I bet he's the butt of every single joke, isn't he, in that Pop Rad dressing room? Although they don't speak English, do they? So they, they probably have no idea that that's funny in English. If he moved to, like, 
Morecambe or something like that, he'd be the butt of every single joke. Guarantee it. Luckily for us, though, we have another chance to come for Barbosa in the area. Plays it back to Barai, who has a chance to shoot, but puts it over the bar. Lads, just get it on target. That's all I'm asking. Put your shots on target and they'll they'll find their way into the back of a net. If we keep putting it over, they're not going to go in, are they? Never. But at the break, we are leading 1-0. And at the moment, that is good enough. That is good enough for the three points so far. Hopefully, we can just shut Poprad out in the second half and just claim a 1-0 victory. That's, I mean, that's all, I'll, that's all I want. Just the three points. 1-0. We can win every single game for the rest of the season 1-0. I'd be absolutely over the moon with that, just so we can get all those three points that we need. As uh, We're building from the back. Shitty gel into Brigant. Brigant playing it back to Cena. Cena up towards Gunnarsson, who gets past his man into Barbosa. What a great move this is, and it's resulted in the second goal of the game. That was a superb goal, I've got to say. That was incredible. Like, normally, I applaud opposition goals for stuff like this, but... Lads, I'm on the sidelines and I'm clapping you. That was, I mean, Gunnarsson's movement there, his pass was incredible. Gunnarsson, what a player he is. And Barbosa just getting it underneath the keeper there. Great second goal of the game. Okay, well, I'm confident now. I'm confident we can see out this game and get a nice victory under our belt. I'm going to take Cena off again and bring Gompi on for half an hour or so at the end of the game. Want to get him some game time. Toff is, he's just not playing well, Toff. He's had a really average season 6.9 is not bad to be fair but I don't know I just feel like Toth has not played that well this season I feel like he just lets himself down he doesn't excel quite so much although saying that Brigant's on a 6.4 rating so I'll take him off a of Danko and actually leave Toth on the pitch instead right now but I don't know Toth is a little bit Marmite and I think I don't like him because he got really aggy when we sold Stasic early on the season and he tried to gang up on me I'm a, a bit, bit salty about that still if we get promoted I think we should be looking to replace him next season I think I think there's you know quite a few candidates for being replaced but Barbosa scores his hat trick and Barbosa when he's on form, is unstoppable. I think he's a great player for the division above us. As is Brigant, I feel. I think those two, if we got promoted, would be regular starters still. But I think we might need something a little better than Toth on the left wing. I think Barai is pretty decent as well on that attacking midfield position. I don't think he would need rep replacing. But as we move further back the pitch, we might need to replace a few more defenders and midfielders and stuff like that. But we'll have to come to that when we actually get there as Toth... Can't quite get the ball forward properly there, but Shitty Gel does collect that loose ball, plays it back towards Lacko, who tries to get it forward, but doesn't quite reach its intended target. And Poprad looking to try and get a bit of a consolation goal out of this as our friend Horny, number three, loses possession as the, the pass wasn't great and he's been caught out. His teammate's been caught out and tackled, although they've got the ball back in their hands right now. But Barbosa capitalises on a goalkeeper mistake there. He was under pressure from two players. And Barbosa, four goals now in today's game. Five in today's episode. All five goals, all by Barbosa. That penalty, that's just reignited him. I don't, I don't want to say I'm a genius, but I, I am a genius. So 10 minutes ago, it's all about just seeing this game out now. Four goals for Barbosa, four goals for Martin, and three points on the board. If only it was four points, that would have sounded so much better, wouldn't it? So the final 10 seconds or so of today's game, a great performance from us, particularly Barbosa. And as the clock ticks down, the referee is going to blow his whistle, surely? He does blow his whistle. Pop Brad nil, Martin four. We stay on top of the table as Liptovsky end up winning 2-0. So we're still up there by a point, but we're still five points clear of Presov in third. You love to see it, lads. Seven games to go, one point clear. As like I said, we just need to keep winning games and we'll win the league. That is as simple as that. So next episode then, uh, we'll probably go down to the final few games of the season to see us maybe crown champions or maybe have to go through the playoffs or maybe we just absolutely bin it in these games and we finish outside the top two. It's all possible still. That's going to come tomorrow. Now, the schedule, we're meant to have experiments out on a Wednesday, but I, I can't leave you hanging like this. I can't leave you hanging like this. So tomorrow... We'll do this and we'll probably move the experiment back to a later date or might just do two uploads tomorrow or something like that instead. We'll think about it, but this is definitely coming tomorrow, the final episode of this season where we might get promoted. So thank you ever so much for watching today's video for us. Uh, I massively appreciate it. Make sure you do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.